for stopping by our community. I have a bit of a project to do here with this character. I need to find out if it's suitable for a cartoon animator. Anyway, I'm working in AI here and I have a lot of work to do here. Now you can see he looks very good here. I like the overall colors of the character and the way it's been drawn. It looks really well done. There's lots of hand sprites down here. There's also various lip syncs down here. We need to check them to make sure the sprites are suitable for a cartoon animator. Anyway, first of all, we're going to clear ourselves a space here. I'm going to get rid of these guys here and move them over. And we're going to try and clear ourselves a place to work. There we go. Just move it over a little bit. Now here, we're going to start working. Okay, this isn't really a suitable pose that you would have for cartoon animator. First thing I'm going to do is ungroup this. And then I'm just going to delete this one here. I don't want this, it's not suitable. And I'm going to keep this arm over here. Control G on my keyboard to group it. Press O, hold down Alt and click. And I want it to be a vertical flip and I'm gonna click copy and there we go that looks really good okay now you say this looks a little strange all I need to do is move this to the back I'm gonna go use the arrange here and move it to the back I'm gonna do the same thing to the other arm and there we go nice and easy to do now these are both individual sprites. You can change the hands around, stuff like that. You can make a G3 front facing character so far. I like the collar here, I like the color. Kinda curious if I can change it. I'll try that later. Anyway, you'll notice the feet don't look that good either. I'm just going to delete this sprite here. And I'm gonna take these two, group them. Press O on my keyboard. Hold down Alt and click and copy. Now he has two feet there, but it doesn't look that good. I'm going to move this here and I'm going to send it to the back. There we go, that looks better. I'm happy with that. Now, if I didn't want his tail, I could probably take it away, but I'll just leave it where it is. And that's good. Now I'm going to have to make these into individual sprites. Anyway, I want to take a look at the other sprites here, the hands. Have a look at them. And let's find out how easy it is to ungroup it. And move the sprite. Now if I wanted to change his hand over here. Let's just move up here. It's like doing a puzzle. You get to have a lot of fun with it. So again, you see, I'd have to ungroup this. Just move the hand out of the way. Press R on my keyboard to rotate this to the position I want it to be. And that's a good position there. And that looks fine. Now I'm going to just rotate that back a little bit. And that looks awesome. That's really good. I'm happy with that. Looks good. Maybe it needs to be a bit bigger. These look a little bit bigger, so we'll just do a quick change here. Easy to scale things. This puzzle is really easy to solve, and that looks a bit better. Anyway, there's a lot of different hands here. I like that pointy one here. Now I want to take a look at this head here. Control C. And Control V up here. And I want to see if it's suitable for the sprites. Control V and we'll move this over here. Press H to move around with our hand tool and let's just take this. Okay, here we go. We're gonna start taking it apart and having a look at it. Nose sprite is awesome. And that looks really good too, but you know, if I wanna put a lip sync in there, I need to have a look at better look at it. So let's just take it apart here and have a look. Now, so far, I don't like that the way it is. Okay, let's just try and have a better look at it. So I'm going to zoom in when you're working with stuff. Sometimes you got to really get a close look at it and make sure that's what you want. There we go. Just move that over. And still a lot of ungrouping to do. They really grouped this together really well. Okay, there's part of it. 
and that could be a bit of a problem so you can't really do a lip sync with that because it's not an individual sprite but anyway let's give the eyes a try okay this is okay and again we're having problems here because these need to be individual sprites but I like how they did that that looks really cool that that's not bad at all that's actually really good and I like the ears and it looks like the eyebrows are okay as well anyway let's zoom out here have a better look at what we're doing scroll down control plus like all the different angles but overall I would have to give this a rating of about seven I like how they drew the character and put them together but overall I probably can't make a lip sync with him um, I probably have to redraw his eyes and there's probably a few other things I would have to do if I want him to have different stuff anyway you can see the eyes look really good here it looks really cool like it is like I said G3 character it wouldn't be able to speak so you'd have to use speech bubbles anyway that's it for this evaluation of this character I'll probably do a couple more I have a lot of stuff I need to check and I want to thank you for standing by and watching this video thanks for watching remember to subscribe if you are a member of our community and I'll see you all soon take care and take care of your families and stay healthy bye bye